So today, Justin and I, that's Justin. Hey, Justin Lagash. And I'm Shane Hofer. I'm retail and bulk sales at Sun Butter. And Justin here is our sales and marketing director. And we're going to teach you a little bit about Sun Butter interview style. So, Justin, why don't you start by giving us some company history? Sure. Uh, Sun Butter LLC is a business unit uh, and a part of Red River Commodities. Uh, we're a vertically integrated uh, sunflower and specialty grain company located here in Fargo, North Dakota. Um, and the Sun Butter Division specializes in, in taking uh, uh, procurement of specially uh, sourced sunflower seeds and takes the shells off them, uh, cleans them, and makes a wonderful product called Sun Butter. Uh, it, this was a product that uh, came about around the early 2000s and was first launched in 2002 uh, as a solution for those with uh, peanut and tree nut allergies that could have a uh, sunflower butter that could be used in place of uh, things like peanut butter or uh, any tree nut butter out there. <clears throat> um, that was the start of, of a great brand that we've built over the last 15 years now uh, that we're also expanding into a great tasting food for those looking for nutritionally superior products uh, as well as those for a unique flavor. Um, now, uh, one of the more common questions that we get um, is what is sun butter? Why, why, why would you call it sun butter? How What's this like? It? Is this like peanut butter? Most common question. What type of peanut butter is this or is this peanut butter? Uh, because we were founded on being a solution for peanut allergies, of course, we, we try to describe what our product is without using uh, the words peanut butter. Um, so I'm gonna, I've got a few props here I'm gonna use uh, to give you the idea so you can convey this to the consumer. Uh, we take uh, specialty roasted or specialty sourced uh, sunflower seeds. This is a variety grown here in the upper Midwest in the Dakotas and Minnesota um, that uh, can't be uh, cross-contaminated by peanuts or tree nuts because uh, it's too short of a growing season up here for them. Um, and there's no shared uh, bins or trucks. And we have uh, that, cur that uh, sunflower brought in uh, to our, our station here on Good River Commodities all under the same campus. And we knock the shells off it to get a raw kernel. Now this is what comes inside of this. So uh, let's hold these up here for Shane. Uh, this is the in-shell uh, variety that we use, and this is the kernel we get from it. Uh, we actually have an intercompany transaction of purchasing this uh, kernel in Super Sac Totes, which is uh, then transferred uh, by forklift all under the same roof to our Sun Butter operation, where we uh, roast, we dry roast the uh, kernel. Uh, we have the, the dry roasted kernel um, then go all into a closed loop system and it is ground into delicious sunflower butter under the leading Sun, sun Butter brand. Woo! Now our, our Sun Butter brand is, um, does about 85% of the market share of all sunflower butters in the market. So uh, sunflower butter and sun butter are ubiquitous with one another. So how do I use this stuff? You can use uh, sun butter in baking, in satay sauces, in sandwiches, in dips, uh, with fruit, uh, Thai recipes. Uh, really, you can use uh, sunflower butter in, in any uh, fashion that you would use your your, your peanut butters or, or almond butters. In smoothies, uh, what's really nice about it is you, you add a nutritional superiority uh, when using sun butter in place of uh, other nut butters because we have more mi micronutrients. Uh, I heard a rumor that it's higher in manganese, magnesium, iron, zinc, phosphorus, vitamin B5 and B6, and vitamin E. Is that true? To name a few. To name a few, but it, it's got all those all that good stuff. Um so <clears throat> is this non-GMO? Uh, what's what's really a fun fact about sunflower seeds is there is no such thing as a genetically modified planting seed for sunflower. There's over a hundred varieties of planting seed for sunflower that have uh, actually evolved naturally um, since their inception. So I see that you guys use plastic jars. Why is that? Um, we we care about food safety and carbon footprint around here, and so uh, glass, of course, brings in uh, foreign objects and very dangerous. Uh, production uh, operations, not to mention the weight of glass. Um, it, it takes more diesel fuel to transport uh, and takes more energy to recycle than our very, very recyclable and BPA-free plastic jars that we use. So 
now I know it's made out of sunflower seeds, so I assume it tastes somewhat like sunflower seeds, but does it taste anything like peanut butter? Uh, we, we, I'll give you the, the description. It's pretty close. Um, uh, someone will say, well, does it taste like peanut butter? I, I usually say, it better not, or we're in trouble. Uh, but the truth is, it's got the very same uh, initial roasted flavor, aroma, and texture of a peanut butter, but it'll finish like a, a, a handful of dry roasted sunflower seeds. That's good to know. So is this product then um, vegan and paleo friendly? It sure is. Uh, we've got very simple ingredients. Uh, the natural variety here today is three simple ingredients. Uh, it is sunflower seed, uh, a, a, a cane sugar, and salt. And uh, that is vegan friendly. Uh, and it's a great source of protein uh, for those that are looking for plant-based protein. So I have a friend who baked some cookies with us the other day, and he said they turned green. What's that all about? There is chlorophyll in sunflower seeds because they're not a nut or a legume. So uh, we have some pre-altered recipes, over 100 of them on sunbutter.com slash recipes. I encourage you to check them out. Um, what we do is we reduce the leveling agent by one third uh, and or add a little bit of citric acid to your, to your recipe and it'll avoid uh, the inside of that, that uh, cookie from turning green. And it's not harmful, it's still delicious, um, but that's what it is. It's the chlorophyll reacting with the leveling agent. Yeah, and St. Patty's Day, um, we welcome you to just keep that baking soda level up and keep the lemon juice out and you're gonna have some nice green St. Patty's Day cookies which everyone's gonna love. So is this kosher? It's Orthodox Union kosher. That's very good to know. And I have one last quick question for you before we wind this up. After I open this, do I have to refrigerate it? And how long does this last? Our product is so delicious that you're not gonna need to refrigerate it uh, before you're done with the jar and on to the next one. Uh, there's nothing perishable in our product. Three simple ingredients, it's a dry good. Refrigeration is not required. Uh, however, this natural variety has no stabilizing oil added to it. So if you would uh, prefer slowing down oil migration in the product, refrigeration is perfectly fine, as well as freezing the product if you'd like is perfectly fine since our moisture content is so low. Well, Justin, thanks for answering all of my questions. This will conclude our first ever live interview style sun butter video educational video we'll call it and, and we'll... call 877-873-4501 if you have any further questions or visit sunbutter.com and make sure you ask for justin lagosh personally and he'd be happy to answer any questions you have thank you guys